Hello friends, in this video series we will explore various long read genome assembly tools. So we know that uh, in a genome assembly process, first we do the sequencing to get the reads, raw reads. Then the raw reads can be uh, obtained either from short read NGS platform such as Illumina or IonTorrent or it can be obtained from long read NGS platform such as PacBio and Nanopore. And then the reads are then assembled into context. So in during the assembly process, the assemblers, the assembly tools, they will try to find the overlap between reads and based on that overlap information, they will join the reads and then form the context. So later on uh, in the assembly process, the gaps are filled and finally we get the complete genome. So in the assembly process, uh, long read NGS platform such as PacBio and Nanopore are more suitable compared to the short read NGS platform, platform such as uh, Illumina and IonTorrent because of the longer length the assembly complexity you know decreases so that's the advantage of using long read ngs platform however because of the you know comparatively uh, higher error rate compared to short read ngs platform sometimes hybrid method is used that means both long read as well as short read ngs platforms are used so uh, this is the uh, typical assembly uh, workflow first after the sequencing the base calling uh, leads to converting the raw signal to fastq format i mean uh, the sequence as well as the quality associated with it so once we get the fastq file then we do basic quality control check okay and if there are some low quality reads are there we filter them out or if some there are some uh, low quality reasons or bases are there we trim them also some adapter contamination if it is there those uh, we need to trim them out so this sanity check is required before doing the assembly so once we have a clean processed uh, raw, I mean clean and processed data, then we can use many assembly tools to do the assembly. So this process will do the assembly and give us a draft assembly. So before uh, and sometimes this, this process is followed by some further policing the assembly like using some error correction tools and uh, to give us the final assembly, final assembly, yeah. So once uh, then we can check how the assembly qualities what is the total assembly size what is the n50 value what is ng50 value those kind of you know uh, assembly uh, statistics we need to check and if we are satisfied with the quality then we can stop it otherwise we can you know this process uh, is an iterative process so uh, so there are many long read genome assemblers are available uh, and widely used tools are like sasta fly miniasm wtdbg2 and kano so we will be uh, in the you know uh, series of videos we will explore each of these tools like we'll start with sasta followed by fly then miniasm then wtdbc2 and then we end with kano and at the end we will compare uh, these all the assembly you know output uh, results using quast quast is a you know assembly statistics tool which will help us to see the various uh, assembly parameters and we can compare each of the tool in terms of like total assembly size what is the ng50 value those kind of things okay and for this uh, demo purpose uh, we will be using an uh, sequence uh, from uh, data from ONT platform Oxford Nanopore technical platform and we will be taking a very small fastq file which is of uh, hardly 121 MB size and it belongs to a genome of uh, roughly 1 million genome size so in the next video we will start with sasta then we will go sequentially thanks for watching so we will see you in the next video thank you